Oh, no, I'm not saying Diddy yet, man. We were talking about roach cheese and farting. Roach? Hey, we were talking about roach cheese. Why are we talking about roach cheese? He said, well, I said it's like a roach crawling in your food. Like you about to you start eating your food and the roach crawling. Oh, a fart. We're talking about farts doing sex. That's what we were talking about. Yeah, I asked um, if you're eating a, if a girl's right in your face or you're eating her butt and she poops, farts, whatever. Is it sex over? It was sex over. Man. And. and <laughs> Did you know, it stink? Yeah. Oh, oh, damn, she let a real one out. Sometimes <laughs> like, I. It was a surprise fart. It was a laugh, though. It wasn't one of those. You know how sometimes you get the ones like, like that? I never had a cheek fart. That shit was like, that shit had sound. So, no, she tripping, she felt that one. Yeah, she felt that one. I was eating pussy under the covers. And you were eating pussy. Bruh, she bitch ate up. Hey yo, yo, uh, yeah, bro, she hey, yo, she disrespectful. Yeah, she trifling. You still talk to her? I bet you still talk to her. You still uh, talk to her? He said no. I'm about to say she felt that because sometimes when you have the one that just slide out and it's like a little, mm-hmm. a little pure air, <laughs> but, the, but the one that got the sound and the vibration and the smell to it, nah, she felt that one brewing. <laughs> <laughs> so you ever farted? Not during sex, but I did the queefing. I had a fart to do on Saturday. I don't know. know. But it was we, like, man. Yeah, ain't that when, um. The ain't, pussy fart. Yeah. They, oh, yeah, yeah. That, see, that's nasty. That comes from air. And you like, know, air tight is when you pull that, put that, all that. That's cool. But if it's just regularly out here farting, bro, you disrespectful. And especially if I'm eating the box. Yeah, that, that was like. Yeah, oh, I was like, bro, she felt that. Like, yeah, 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 I was like, so maybe yeah. she didn't think it was coming. In you now. chose violence tonight. Oh, nah, bro, you might double have, homicide. You might, you might, <laughs> you, 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 you might have just run uh, been doing your job bad, bro. Or maybe he was doing it good and she couldn't hold it. She couldn't fart. hold it in one fart. Uh, yeah, she was. She couldn't control her <laughs> muscles down there. I don't, know, bro. I don't know if I'm getting up and leaving. Because she probably I mean, didn't. I think it might be a conversation. It'd be a conversation like, yo, now you know you owe me something. Like, you owe me something. Because she farted? Yeah, your job about to hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's the that's, that's kind of. Uh, uh, what? I don't know. I'm dreamy, bro. It's, just, it's yeah. just giving a, a. I don't know. You owe me something. You farted by my mouth. <laughs> I yeah, need to borrow your jaws for thirty minutes. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I need to borrow your jaws for thirty minutes. Yeah, but it that that. I'm gonna sound like I'm a hater. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 it's it's giving like I don't know, like aggressive vibes. Yeah, like they'll say you they, they will say rapey. <laughs> they'll say rapey vibes. Rapey vibes. Yeah, they're like I ain't gonna hit her, but no, she like you're forcing her, like to basically she owe you head now Bro, she, she did forced her fart in my mouth while I was eating her. But it's a natural, it's a natural response. Character. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> it's a natural response of the body, so it's gonna be like, oh, it's so not, now you're gonna force not. her to do something. No, you know how to hold in their farts. Oh, well, that's natural. it is natural. Why are you saying that? You're not supposed okay. to hold it in. Right. What she should have did is say, hey, because nothing was probably about to be real good. She thought she could hold it. No, he, just, he said he just started. Well, still, Sometimes, she I probably mean, could have. She she should have said, hey. The maybe she was embarrassed to say, hey, I got a fart. She probably was well, trying to hold it and it slipped out. Because, well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, because, she yeah, moved the hand away and just farted, man. No, girls, a lot of girls don't even want to fart around their niggas. So, so, yeah, so, okay, okay, okay. okay. Crazy. So, okay. if a dude is eating your cookie and you fart, you don't feel like you owe him, you got, you owe him something, you got to get back. You call that rapey vibes. I got to clear that up. And <laughs> <laughs> that ain't what we're doing here. Like, no, I'm not saying, like, I'm just saying like, it just comes off. She got to like, make that shit up. She don't, owe, fart. she don't owe you shit. First of all, if you don't owe she, me shit. No, she does okay. what she wants to do. You don't owe she owe me shit, so decision. I'm going to go tell everybody. Look, don't fuck with her. She's a farter. She's a farter. That's child. That's child. I'm a childish person. Oh, hey. I don't know shit. As long as you own that shit, you own that shit. But nah, she said no woman should fart in a nigga's mouth. Well, that's what I'm saying. And vice versa. I don't think she intentionally farted in your mouth. Boom. I I got it. So, if you give a nigga head and he fart, (laughs) what's the next step? And I fart? fart? No, he farts while you're giving him head. Ball in your mouth. (laughs) (laughs) He (laughs) farts. 
First of all, I'm gonna be very disgusted. <laughs> and then what are you gonna do? Is the sex over for you? You just said all of this. You just said all of this. I didn't know. I didn't say what you should have did. I like this echo over here. It's great. <laughs> yeah, we in this open space. We ain't got nothing to feel. So we got. It's a, it's a wide open room. It's the game. But yeah, you give it here, you go eat that. No, Andrew. Uh, yeah, so it's, it's probably going to be like, I, it depends on who it is, it's probably going to be funny. I'm like, nigga, really? It's probably going to be on some drunk eye shit or something. But. Oh, so you'll roll with it. Yeah, women probably will roll with that shit. Because like, I'm like, bro, I'm like, this nigga farted. Yeah, but it's different because they, they, because see, if she, if and a she woman in the head, on who it is. but see, if a woman's in the head, the butt is the other way. Like so it's not like now. a direct. No, but I say it depends on who it is. Like, if, if, say you're in a relationship, like, shit, like, uh, yeah, yeah, it's just like, like, it's like, okay, you farted, all right, yeah, we can laugh about different. it later, like, I've been married 14 years. I'm like, I'm like, yo, you know you farted, bro. You just, look. yeah, but you're not going to divorce You got to make up for that. Right. Now I tasted that shit. <laughs> 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 That's the details. No, nobody's ever farted, but that shit is just weird, bro. And I think <laughs> if you're a woman, I'm eating your food, like you me. fart, you owe me in for 30 minutes. I don't care. <laughs> Yeah, I mean that is a very long time, but of course, you feel of you feel entitled. You, you feel entitled to that, but we just we're, we're gonna have to disagree on that. But that's okay. Mm -hmm. I'm okay with agreeing to disagree. <laughs> I, I have learned. Hey, how to give us a topic, hey. So recently, my sister she she does. She works in kind of real estate, but not necessarily like selling houses. She works for a company that she do all the licenses and permits when people want to build buildings and uh, like a consultant. Zone, like you know, a consultant. Yeah. And she was telling me that Atlanta's trying to get rid of Airbnbs in the they city. They are. They yeah. got rid of over a lot of properties. Yeah, I was seeing that. And I was like, that, that that's going to be a lot of money lost because. A lot of people come to Atlanta. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think because like the hotels are hurting. But no, the hotels aren't losing. It was something about some um I somebody has friend that, that lives in Atlanta, but no, the hotels are always gonna be good because there are a lot of people prefer hotels mm -hmm. over Airbnb. And I saw a funny tweet the other day and it was like I'm sticking with hotels because Airbnb come with a whole list of a bunch of rules, chores. I'm like, uh, I'm, paying, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm paying all this. I got to clean up. I can't have a party. I got this. You can't smoke. You're monitoring. Like, no. You can't smoke. The Airbnb it does have its benefits, though. Like, you got the, the whole house spot. You know, it's chill. But it's just like, damn, I got to take a trash out. And when I pay for I pay for convenience. That's a fact. Yeah, I turned up this weekend. We had a hotel for my birthday. Turned up, and I'm like, you know, I woke up the next day, got my bags, and I left. I ain't have to worry about picking up all these cups and all the stuff. They clean. They get paid for that. They get paid for that. That's what I paid. No, well, my, the Airbnb I got there one time. The motherfuckers already had a cleaning fee built in. Yeah, yeah. And that shit was like three hundred. And them ones you don't have to clean up on. That shit was like three hundred dollars, and I'm like, yo, we smoking in this motherfucker. <laughs> and niggas was like, I'm like, nigga, it's a $300 cleaning fee. All right. Damn. So fuck. I, I'm about to say, you better, you better go to the uh, gas station and get you some blunt power. This wasn't big ass shit, though. It was like a family thing, but still. It's like, yo, I fuck with Airbnb. Yeah. The hotels be stinking, bro. Right? All right, yeah. All right, you gotta go to the good ones. Yeah, you gotta go to the hotel. Gas, right? I ain't gonna go to the hotel today. The day you serve a breakfast, um, nigga, the day you ain't serve a breakfast. <laughs> That's true, but hey, man, I, I like well, they rooms always must. You I stick, gotta bring it for real. I stick with Marriott or um, Hilton. Yeah, the Hilton. You, you a baller, bro. Um, it's your birthday. I didn't lie. Some place, I, I be fucking with Red Roof Inn depending on where I'm at. Because some, some of those, yeah, those are decent. Hotel. Some people say that shit. Yeah, it's, that can be a decent hotel, like you said, depending on where it is or whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, but back in the college days, Red Room Inn was the nicer, definitely. affordable. The one in Durham is definitely nice. I yeah, the one on North Point Drive. I believe so. I remember I went out, I went out in Durham. I only went out in Durham twice. And I got a room there once for a turn up. And I got, I paid like 75. I want to say this was probably like 2014, 2015. 
And it was like, damn, I looked out the room, it was nice as hell. Yeah. I had like nice little computer disks and, and shit. It had the flat screen, it had, had the nice floors. I was like, had okay. had the couch with like the little pull-out couch. And then it had the, uh, I was like, damn, all this for 75? Yeah, they are definitely, but yeah. I don't know how we got all hotels. Yeah, bro. So, oh, Airbnb. And like an Airbnb. Real to the Airbnbs. All right, peace to them, bro. They about, to, they about to do a lot of, they doing a lot of bullshit in Atlanta. I'm glad I don't have like to locking up like gun and yeah, thug yeah. and and the woman saying that she about to come take like everybody that's associated with anything. So it's a lot of shit that's going on in Atlanta. And what re what people really need to look at it as, bro, this is our black method. They have to do something. Mm. They have to do something. They're trying to do something. Like they're trying to take Oklahoma. Yeah, they trying to take all the motherfucking prominent people and do all of this shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't know the young thug and gunner like situation or whatever, but it kind of seems like some bullshit. Like, well, when these they, niggas can't even get bail on G. Well, first of all, you have a RICO charge, and not your 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 chances of bail are going to be slim to none, especially if they think and that you're a flight risk. Meant for you, but not these me. niggas are niggas you can put under super surveillance. They shouldn't be in jail. Why shouldn't they? Because rich shit. I watched that shit. Yeah, I was looking at it. I have a few aberrations, ladies and gentlemen. So, yeah. so we're saying people who aren't rich deserve to be in jail? It's a lot of rich people that shit. It's Ethan Couch. Y'all yeah. know who that is? That's a drunk nigga that got down, got in a wreck and killed. He was drunk driving with people in the car. And I don't people think on his name is... Ethan Couch. Oh, you talking about Okay. Ethan, I just watched the documentary that's who I know. That shit made me mad. This nigga got off at every turn. He killed four people with a uh what's his name? They sent him to a rehab. He left the rehab. Nothing else happened to him. Well, we already know that the system is lopsided when it comes to justice and for So that nigga was white. And young thug and it was white, right? Yeah, it probably would have been very different. And we and we know that though. It wouldn't even be a Rico case. It'd be And even with Rico charges, they they build this case on you. They don't just wake up and say, hey, we're oh, sucking you with Rico. Yeah. So they've been watching them for years. So what's going to do? What is conspiracy to violate Rico? What, what, so what basically they're saying, I ain't never heard of that. They're saying that, well, they're still saying that he's a part of the, the organization and he has some type of affiliation with it. So They really, just don't really. But that's the one and only charge is violate, conspiracy to violate a state. Rico. Well, he's still, well, yeah, the whole case right now is on a state level. So it's not federal. So, I mean, legal <laughs> charges in state are not as serious as federal. It's still a very serious charge, but it's not as. If it was federal, we're talking some serious, some serious. It's weird that little baby, I mean, I'm not saying that I want him to be connected to the shit, but it's kind of weird. Are he not tangled up? Yeah. Like, Don't give him no ideas. I'm not. Don't give him no ideas, bro. Because it is right because... Young Thug is the nigga that put a little baby on. He used to pay this nigga to That's get his out of the hood. Brother, brother. Like, yo, yeah. God, nigga, go to the studio, just pay, like, for his living and shit. So, hopefully, he ain't gonna get into that shit, but... Well, I hope not, because little baby... They coming out to Atlanta, bro. Niggas need to learn that. That's how baby is. But it, it's a lot of stuff that be going on, so... It really do, man. These niggas, these... But you got another... We have one more. Do you have one more? With some tea, bro? We got, like, four topics. We did yeah. Beyonce, uh, Tori... Um, this is Haley talking about the Airbnb, bro. Yeah, I'm going to buy me a house in Atlanta, so I don't care. We talked about Kevin Gates. Are we, I guess this is going to be part Oh, of we can't talk about Kevin Gates. We ain't talking about him a lot. Yeah, and I'm trying to think what else. Um, really you say he made a song. You say he drank Beyonce piss and shit. But yeah. I thought we were going to talk about him breaking up with his girl because his girl cheated on him. Yeah, see, I, I didn't follow... I didn't follow some That's people, why I like your blog because yes. you ain't with the messy all the time. Yeah, I'm about to say some stuff. I just be like, all right, like y'all got it. Like I'm not, but I did post when he when he said that he wanted he wanted to get at Beyonce with Rose Nicki Minaj. He was like, he literally said, you know, whole, you know, he pretty much said I fuck with you, but. That's like to me is like disrespect. It's disrespect. It is disrespect. And then and then you're still talking about this man's wife on a podcast. Like you're. Out of pocket, but oh, I said, yeah, I think in his mind, he giving them props because 
No, like, that's I not wrong. Who? No, what? I'm talking about when he said that he wanted that he wanted to fuck Beyonce. He literally said that on the song. Don't mm-hmm. you play the clip? But it's a yeah. Go ahead. There's a lot of people that I want to fuck. Yeah, Beyonce. but you don't just you don't shop <laughs> you don't shop the, the man out that you, you know him and then turn around and say, "But I want to fuck your wife." What about the game? And That's game. disrespect. It is, it is, but it's like it's Kim and Kanye. Who gives a fuck? Game you talking about how you fuck Kim K and him and Kanye? Yeah, these niggas are crazy, bro. I don't want them niggas saying. Well, if the niggas say you want to drink my white pee, bro, like, bro, you just know you be you being like, weird. Give me some women. What? I was to make it happen. Beyonce can sell a P for a billion dollars. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, what about just all right? I'm about to play it, y'all. He said they don't know if they some swingers. Yeah, he said no disrespect to Jigga. <laughs> and he was like, I don't know if they in the swinging. But my thing is, you still disrespectful. You speaking on a whole man wife and you call his name out. Like, no, that's disrespect. But it's okay. I mean, I get it, though. It is disrespect. They gonna, they gonna that shit sounded good, too. I can go listen to that. Yeah. Kevin Gates be spitting, right? He do sometimes. You got he be having that alliteration, too, a little bit like that. Southern boy. Soldier Boy, this is. Hey, yo, Soldier Boy. I love you, bro. I'm <laughs> subscribed to your channel and everything. I love the shit you be doing. I be watching them, bro. Stop fucking disrespecting dead people, bro. Trouble, they got you family. Still, you still this in trouble? They got family, bro. He went live the other day and said he's about to drop um, an album very soon. He said he's going to diss all his. He said he's going to diss all these rappers and he's going to kill all his op. Yo, Soulja Boy is so like one said. of the rack, wackest rappers alive. <laughs> he dropped a song every other motherfucking day to keep up his YouTube contract that he has to do. Mm. Hmm? Mm-hmm. That was the song just because I fuck with I fuck with Takashi. He turned it in. Yeah, he's yeah. Like, bro, he's just gimmicks. He's always on live doing the same thing. Nah, but don't do that. When we was on the interview, we was talking about the the, the social Boy video that was taken off my um off my page as we're we're on it. Uh, the video that's been viral everywhere um, is my video. Um, and like I was telling them, in particular, I edited this video, so mm-hmm. I took the time to put the video together, and it was taken off my page by No Jumper. Um, and they still haven't credited me for that, but they did apologize. But fuck your apology. It's easy to go back and just credit me. Like, it's my content. I edited that video, I put it together. Credit me. They've been stealing from black people for centuries. Like, and once No Jumper posted it, of course, that's when academics and everybody else is going to see it, and they post it. No and Jumper's then, a bullshit. Yeah, so. But yeah, shout out to the blogs that did come back and credit me or whatever. But Soulja Boy is wild. You, th- you think? But they saying that he talking all this being on be outside. So I just don't, I just don't, I just don't like giving things like that energy. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. It's like, bro, I know what you're doing. This is what you're trying to do. People shouldn't respond to it, bro, because apparently you're not outside. All the shit he's saying and what's the name, but he in the house all the time. Which I, I get it. I'm the in the house ass nigga, bro. I ain't out here in these goddamn streets. But so he talk don't a bit talk it like you like yeah. you about that, and especially don't stop disrespecting. I motherfucking black people that die after they're dead, bro. Yeah. You should have had like that beef with that man yeah. when he was alive. So shut the fuck up, soldier boy. Yeah, yeah. because, I mean, even though, even if they was at odds, I mean, apparently they was at odds when the nigga was alive, you wasn't even going this hard when he was uh, alive. Uh, he got his own little bit, bro. He, he hide behind the biggest man, the what's the name, the da 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 But it's cool. Like, I watched this, this nigga, he got his own revoke, too. That nigga a show, this nigga got mad at his homies because they went to O-Block without him. Mm. When they was in Chicago doing that shit. So, they went back to O-Block. That nigga wouldn't even get out. He said that shit. I'm not getting out here, man. We just need to make it. Some niggas hopped out and literally took a picture and kept it moving. So it's like, what are you, you just exploiting people, bro? These are real hoods and real shit that is happening with niggas that is really about that motherfucking life. I'm a square ass nigga, but I, I know a lot of gangbangers, man. I know how the game go. Mm. So the shit shows you what doing, you can only do. 
if you're a soldier boy. The reason I hate it is because some motherfucker that's not a soldier boy, that's 16, 17, mm -hmm. is going to try to do the same thing that soldier boy is doing and get fucking popped. That's a fact. So it's they, like, they emulate stop that shit, soldier boy, bro. That's some bullshit. Yeah. You got to stop it. You got to stop it, bro. That man got a family. He doing Could be my brother. And he doing this just just to keep people eyes on him. Yeah, nigga, you know, get your talent up, nigga. Give it. Get your talent up, man. Make your music speak for that shit. All them clout chases, all them motherfuckers, man. I don't got no no time or space for that shit. Cause they go viral. He need to just go back. To, he need to go do wilding out or something. Cause he he, he can take somebody out. Nick Cannon did not put that nigga on wild and out. <laughs> Why not? You see all that shit he doing? You think Nick oh, Cannon yeah. gonna stand behind that? No, yeah. you are. And he's very unpredictable. He on that bullet sugar. So. Yeah, man. He 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 looked like. I don't know, man. He, he Fuck Soldier Boy, bro. Hey, man, give us one more topic. We about to be out on this one. Say yeah, like hell of a topic. Nah, hey, but, but but a lot of those shits was out there from. No such yeah. thing as out there on a broke ass podcast. Yeah. When we talk about any, talk when we talk different. about anything, it's all these all these shoes from. I don't know. Let's see what's the most trending. I ain't pod with you, <laughs> in, in, with you in, in a long a, a month. So me. them them the old ones right there. Um. Well, I mean, it's a lot of different things that have been going on. It's a lot of different things. Drake album. Oh, I got one. Oh, Drake Vince album. Vince McMahon stepping down. I was, about, I, I was just looking at that. Because that shit big. And this car is bullshit. How is it bullshit? Okay, if I understand the story correctly, mm -hmm. he paid a woman that he, he had an affair with mm -hmm. $3 million. Mm -hmm. Right? To be quiet? To shut up. And he passed her off to his man. After you gave her $3 million? Yeah. The hush money. What are we hushing about? If it was consensual. I mean... He's I, married. I, don't, I, I still don't care. Yeah, okay. because his wife is in politics. He, she's trying to get a clean image and whatnot. Okay. And plus, I'm, it's going to look bad. And it's just... It's bad press. Even though people say all press is good press, whatever. Mm -hmm. But it's just like, they don't want... So he's basically trying to keep a scandal free... Whatever. Yeah, because he's he a baby friend. Why is he wrong? He's wrong for cheating. Okay, boom, bye. Motherfuckers cheating on their wife and girls all the time. The girls taking back. All right, so I didn't. I'm. I have a sports person who does my sports. I'm gonna read what he posted because I personally have not kept up with the story. Shout out to Josh. He's my sports. I know. Editor. I suppose that was my person. Hey, when I was, you know, I'll be on my WWE. <laughs> so I just don't see. I, I know he did something wrong, but I don't see why it's so bad. I don't understand it. I don't get why it's a story. Only because it's a conflict of interest. I, I just watched the Monica Lewinsky uh, 2020 20 today. I don't, don't ask me why. My wife is watching. But see, it says and misconduct. So, for one, you it's not a misconduct if you it's cheated. Misconduct he's done he, something. He probably used it's, a, it's misconduct money because he's the employer. So, it's going to automatically... No, he's the CEO. But she worked for him. That's why it's going to be misconduct because... Oh, uh, well, she, see that? She yeah. didn't say she, that he raped her or nothing. They just had a fucking sexual affair. Yeah, and then and you pay... And you're not going to tell my wife, bitch. And you pay her $3 million. Yeah, and it wasn't like a, a, a $3 billion. Like He gave her a lump sum. He gave her a million up right, front. Yeah, and then... Like two she was million. a paid doctor. Yeah. She was paid. Yeah, yeah but, but you're probably... You're, you're so, gonna get paid two million, two more million over. For giving up some but, pussy, but robbery can be a crime. It is. So not giving up no pussy, bro. Her pussy is three million dollars. I guess. But listen, you better take your pussy, pussy and go there. home. Right. You take he's your pussy paying, and go home. Like he's three million dollars, you better take your pussy and go home. But he already did it, so he, so obviously she was gonna expose it over there, which is not gonna look good because you got the CEO manipulating and having sex with an employer. And that shit pisses me off because this nigga that said nigga and everything else and had black people mad at him forever. And you think I give a fuck because he fucked the bitch and gave her three million dollars? But it's, it's still misconduct because you're the CEO. I gave her three million dollars. And you're you're bribing an employee. You're you're bribing. I don't got suspended. But your three million is nothing time. when you freaking own like. 
we're not talking about a referee. We're talking about the CEO. <laughs> the that but why is he wrong room. with you? Okay, he was wrong with cheating on his wife. But other than that, I just told you. Home. Home boy, like she was just a piece of meat. Like, he just, went on. But he's she under. Went, no, he no, okay, he fed, she got hired as his. He's assistant. under investigation for misconduct. Do you know what misconduct is? Okay, yeah. Okay, so. Okay, explain. Literally, you as the CEO, you're bribing one of your employees by by paying them off to not out you. Did he sleep with her first time? Out. Did yes. he sleep with her first? Yes, because they said so. They done bang for free. Listen, no, when, when no, no. Answer my question. He they bang well, before well, the money. She was making a hundred thousand a year when they started having sex. He doubled her salary. So it was all he misconduct. He's doing a lot of things that are not allowed. So even when you're in a regular nine to five. They say you're not, you know, it's definitely not allowed for a manager and somebody yeah. else to date. Okay. Conflict of interest. Yeah, but what's yeah, so, so bad? What is so He's not like the owner. I just, he's we the just owner, told you. This kind of. It's a public company now, so he got partners and yeah, sponsors. That he you got. can't, you're having a sexual relationship with an employee and you're giving her benefits, special benefits. It's like, okay, yeah, you spoke, you're, so not, it's not, shit, you're not supposed it's to It's not it. against the law. That shit so, so when you keep saying what's wrong, nothing. He's not, like, okay. he did nothing against the law. He's not going to jail. Okay, but ethics wise, you can be in trouble. It, but he got it. Ethics wise, you can be in trouble. Who she get from the nigga that he passed? But look, on? if you were the manager and you are fucking with your employee, yeah, and you can't fuck with your support. If you start giving her special treatment, you let her oh, yeah, get good. away. Cool. But that's misconduct. He ain't hurt but that's misconduct on your part. He ain't hurt nobody. But who said he was being charged for hurting anybody? He's being charged with misconduct. He's being charged for getting some pussy. He doesn't have criminal charges. He's been investigated by the people who's over him. Everybody has a boss. So you have been investigated because for misconduct. And he still he, get to oversee yeah, WWE. He's just not he just don't have his title. Stephanie McMahon is stepping up as the yeah, interim chair. And it's crazy right. because she just stepped away. I like, don't understand why he got to take time off to spend time. Because they had to investigate the misconduct. Because again, that's that you cannot do that. Like you can't be. She you gave can't, me, He gave her three million dollars. Well, okay, all to you to did, he's her, a billionaire. To bribe her, her to be shit. quiet, so he's already wrong. But he already got the bug. Why she want to talk? Maybe because she, he was cutting it off. She, maybe she, or she knows stuff about him that he don't want people to know. Whoa. Right. There you go. There <laughs> you go. So, or, or, or the benefits stop. Or the benefits stop. Yeah, and now she so, if the benefits stop, you really think, like, no, they did she made her $3 million, bro. She good. I'm not mad at that. Well, Vince. she's good now. That's all I'm saying. I'm not mad at that. He well, he still, he still, he still was in violation. Yeah, you can't fuck your employees, man. You know that. And you can't give them I special. Just got, I just got in the corporate. You said it like you play golf with this nigga. You can't yeah. fuck your employees, bitch. Yeah. 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 But. I only bang your wife. That's what I do. I've been mean, faithful for 14 years. Shout out to my wife. I love you. <sighs> some of us, I mean, some of us ain't married. Okay, I mean, hey man, you gotta do it when you're ready. Happily. What? What did you say? <laughs> I can't hear you. Oh, I said I'm divorced, and I said happily. Child, you man. divorced? Like you been married before? Yeah. How old are you? I am 33, and I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> we ain't gonna ask you to talk about it. I didn't know you was that old, bro. You old as hell. I was she 07? I'm 33. Yeah, 07. Plus 07. I graduated in 05, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I ain't seasoned. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't seasoned. I'm seasoned, not uh, old. Did y'all rip y'all class at y'all high school? Mm-hmm. I don't even think people do. Our thing was 007. Oh, yeah, I was. Uh, we just did. Mm-hmm. Everybody, like, 06, yeah, 06. We, we, oh, not. Well, my freshman year was probably one of my favorite years. School. My freshman year in college was probably my favorite year in college. Yeah, we we prepped our class. Yeah, in college you're not ripping classes because it's like you finish when you finish. Yeah, right. yeah some of them niggas ain't gonna finish. A lot of them niggas ain't gonna finish. I'm, I'm still in the ring. It's a marathon, like Dipsy said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, bro. We end with a debate, yo. Keep it moving, yo. What's y'all favorite cartoon? Ever like to ever yeah, play? Yeah, and I'm going. Let me go That's first. That's very hard. Go I'm going. Oh my god. My favorite cartoon. <laughs> Tom and Jerry. I'm going hey, to it's the worst cartoon. Okay, so I'm going to have to go with my favorite that I grew up on. I'm going to have to say the Rugrats. 
That's one of them. But my number one, my number one, South Park. I love South Park. First of all, South Park one cartoon. Damn, I don't know what that is. That's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. I was watching Innocent stuff. I didn't understand it as a kid because all the stuff was going over my head. Yeah, that's all. I watched the South Park. Do another one. That don't count. That's yeah, an adult yeah. TV show. Do an actual cartoon. Right, South did. Park is not a cartoon. I said Tom and Jerry. Tom and Jerry Rugrats. Yeah. South Park. South Park. Loves Rugrats now on number one day because that was my number one shit. Bunch of white kids. Everybody's calling me now. Bunch of white kids. We about to end. We about to end. We about to end. I don't got nothing else, bro. Niggas didn't want to pick a real cartoon and shit. I, I just said Rugrats. I'm going to play right back. All right. You should have picked Lilo and Stick. No. You got Drop. on your hat right there. Lilo so, and Stitch. So I did. I, 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 I did that. watch that, but I when that. I when I think about my favorite, I think about the ones that I watched like really growing up, like Hey Arnold, Doug, like Recess. all the freaks. Yeah, like that stuff I really watched. So Doug was cool. I follow Doug. I just like the names on Doug, like Patty Mayonnaise, <laughs> Skeeter <laughs> Valentine, Yo, Patty Chucky Mayonnaise. Studebaker. That was my favorite. Patty name. Mayonnaise. Like one of the joints that can That's one of the most double. <laughs> that's one of the most dopest uh, cartoons. Yeah, just, hey, don't y'all worry about the set with this blue uh, blanket. She was covered up at first, and then yeah. I talked <laughs> shit, so she put them yams out for y'all. Okay? Yeah, I was a little chilly, but we're good. No but we out. Yeah, we end this shit by giving shout outs, unless anybody got anything else they want yeah, to talk I, about. Yeah, you know what? Y'all cut. You were, One of y'all cut each other off, and I didn't even get my shout out on the last one. Name one. It's his fault. He been cutting me out the whole time. Oh, so man. I'm gonna go first. Okay. <laughs> Shout out to my wonderful tea party. I love all my followers, my supporters. <laughs> period. Uh, definitely shout out to my team. You guys work hard. I appreciate you so much. Thank you, Karis, Whitney, Jamie, Josh, and Bree. You guys are the best. Yeah. Jamie, shout out to us. Hey, yo, she said. Shout out to the Broke Ass Podcast. Nah, shout out to her, man. Shout out to Tia. I agree. From T with Tia. The letter come first. Hey, yo, shout out to the Lakers. Hey, shout out to the Lakers. Shout out to the Lakers, yo. Fuck them Boston niggas. Sizzle them got up. Y'all still got 17, 17. You know we had one before y'all. Y'all wasted y'all chance, nigga. Shout out Stephen Curry. Hey, Cali still won though. The MVP, the GOAT. Westside. Well, he's one up. <laughs> hey, yo, shout out Cam's Cleaners. Shout out my little nigga Mills, man. I love you, bro. I'm out, man. Shout out my family and my wife. Christina, you know what I mean? Shout out to you for, for pulling up on us out here at the Broke Ass Podcast. Always welcome. And you put up Dolo. Yeah. And- yeah. So this actually a nice neighborhood. I ain't oh, gonna say I mean, um, Yeah, it's a nice neighborhood. Oh, yeah. My uncle was like, oh, you, you're not, you, you going somewhere pretty safe. I was like, okay. <laughs> I asked him, bro. I was like, I'm going to be myself. So, yeah, I was going to have to get But shout out to Country Design for my shirt. Yeah, from your crib. Nigga, they took me. I ain't even get on 40. Uh, yeah. took me crazy <laughs> you you should just got on forty. I could have told you what like, it's it is is not, bro. I was straight back. You home. like you only like, bro. You like forty five minutes from me. I don't bro, know how I you would have, bro. I'm telling you, bro. I, I, GPS, I'm in GPS. GPS was it up. Oh, that's that Android GPS. I gotta go get some. I got iPhone. I got iPhone. Stop it. So. iPhone give me three options, and I always pick the fastest option. I might even look at the option. Well, so that means I'll be home in 45 minutes. That's a, that's, that's a way better for me, man. <laughs> like, bro, I got to go again, bro. I'm just gonna stay. <laughs> My wife was like, yo, you staying? I'm like, shit, I don't know, bro. This is definitely not that. Uh, I told you, I go from um, here to Walmart. Shout out to Moon Diablo. Uh, I'm like, three thirty, got an hour and a half of content. I'm happy, hey. <laughs> <laughs> It was the Thank yeah, you. Yeah, shout, out to <laughs> shout out to my fam. Shout out to my dad. Shout out to all the fathers out there. Shout out to all the black people for Juneteenth. Shout out to all the gay people for for Pride, Pride Month. Month. And Charlamagne and Envy said, shout out oh, um, gay, shout out gay Caribbean black father day. <laughs> Cause it was, it how, was how, how, I just had to say something really quick. <laughs> he said, he said gay people. We're going to correct that. 
Shout out to the LGBTQ plus community. Plus, because plus we don't man. want to exclude anyone out. Right. So, We're inclusive. Anyway. Shout out to everybody for Pride Month. You know, you know who you are. So yeah. That's a fact. I am T is officially uh our little sister now, so don't talk to me. I'm not old. I'm we not older than you. When your birthday? She said her birthday just passed. Did she, did she just went? Oh, uh-huh. she just oh, and you turned 33? Yes. Oh, uh, see, see, I turned 34. Look, this is our little sister, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 